Hi everyone, Samus David here with another fresh bread. Glad I could share this time with you. Thank you and like and subscribe if you would. Um, some awesome things God is doing that I just like to share with uh, you. It's a sp spontaneous um, time. I don't do a whole lot of practicing, although this time I have a song to share with you and it has to do with what we're talking about. So it's about uh, redigging wells and digging you new wells. And um, Genesis chapter 26 speaks about um, Isaac sowing in that land and reaped the same year a hundredfold. Wonderful. Uh, nice to plant w one row of carrots and get a hundred times that reap a hundred times that. Um, God just has a different way of doing ma mathematics when he wants to bless you. Just know that. <laughs> there are times when there's a hundredfold in store for you. Somebody needs to hear that. <laughs> so, but then um, it says that the Philistines had stopped up all the wells which his, father, uh, his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham. And uh, so he had this case where now he's been blessed and doubly blessed and over blessed and he's moving through the area and their wells and his father's servants had dug these wells but now they're all stopped up. So he has to redig re these wells. So they went to the first well. Um, Isaac's servants dug the well in the valley and found a, w a well of running water. Wonderful. Uh, but the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen, saying, This water is ours. And so he moved on to, to the next well. They dug another well, and they quarreled over that one also. Oh, boy. And he moved on from there and dug another well, but they did not quarrel over that one. And he called this one Rehoboth, because he said, uh, The Lord has made room for us, and uh, he has made us fruitful in the land. Now this is even more fruitful than the herds and flocks that God had blessed him with and the hundredfold. So um, God is in blessing mode, people. And I just feel there's some of you who are uh, re redigging old wells, old uh, giftings, old ways in which God has moved, and it's being snatched away from you because it's, it's not what God wants to work with. Um, but then there will, there will be one when, when you, when you redig that other one and it will flourish and you will be blessed and there there might be new ones that that you will dig also um so don't don't get tired digging wells and then people quarrel and then you move on to another one because there will be one that will be rehoboth rehoboth the lord has made room for you in the land um i don't know if it's some somebody who has recently moved to that town from somewhere else and it seems that everywhere you're trying to get a job or something, it's being turned down, it's being turned down, being turned down. Keep on trying. You will find one that will be just what is the right thing. And it will be what God uh, God has ordained for you. So your your blessing is coming. Your blessing is coming. So um, I used to write a lot, a lot of songs. It's been a lo little while since I wrote. And uh, this week I was in, in an environment that was really rich. The Lord's, uh, I, I don't know, anointing, blessing for songs. Somehow it was there. And I just uh, down downloaded stuff when I went home and worked on it and so on. So I want to play this for, for you. So it's just a few days old. <laughs> it may change a bit from time to time. But I just feel it's what somebody needs to hear now. And um, it's a it's a heart that's seeking God. It's a heart that's asking the Holy Spirit just to come. And um, that's a theme which you're hearing me on this little f fresh bread that I'm really rolling with now. I I feel it's a time to to really seek God. To to really you you don't always know what to pray for. You you don't always know what you want breakthrough in because the, the the place God has you in is a total dependence on him and so uh, wh how how do you pray what what do you pray for cuz God ha has the next step in his hand you know so um that's a scary place to be Un uncertainty uh y you don't know quite what is happening from week to week but things are things are becoming clearer and as as you keep walking keep walking keep digging wells um something will be uh breakthrough time 
and you will you will absolutely know that uh, God has that in his hand some of the victories and some of the answers God has in his hand and he doesn't let us know um, because we we will run with it and run in the wrong direction so uh, don't don't get tired seeking God don't get tired just saying God I, I, I don't know which way to go I, I, I need you to guide me um, God may, may just guide you and by, bypass your mind and just let it happen and just open a door or, or close a door. Um, let's just keep trusting God, digging wells and uh, calling on his spirit to absolutely lead us and bless us. All right. So that's the message for today. Thank you. And let's see how this sounds. Seeking an invasion of my heart Creator God Come eclipse my soul Come on purpose Not serendipity Creator God Come encounter me Lord I wait My eyes so fixed and my mind stayed on you And my heart beats hard, it's running after you Lord, I wait on you to come My soul waits on you to come I'll do that again I'm seeking an invasion of my heart Creator God, come eclipse my soul. Come on purpose, not serendipity. Creator God, come encounter me. Lord, I wait on you. Come and move like you do. With my eyes so fixed and my mind stayed on you. And my heart beats hard, it's running after you. Lord, I wait on you to come. My soul waits on you to come. So come, sweet spirit. invade your space today. <laughs> Have a great one. Take care.